Hi everyone. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make fairy tale magnets. The first is a dragon, and the second is a unicorn. And we're going to go what's over go over what's in your kit first before we get started. So you'll have two pieces of paper, just in case you make a mistake, a foam paintbrush, a little cup of Mod Podge, which is a glue, two ink pads, two glass gems, and two magnets. Some of you will have self-stick magnets and some of you will have magnets that need glue. If you have a magnet that needs glue, you'll also have uh, a couple glue dots. Now, on top of all that, you're also gonna need a pair of scissors, a pencil for tracing, uh, some markers or colored pencils for decorating, and I have baby wipes, or you can have a wet paper towel just to wipe your fingers off when you're done with the ink. All right, let's get started. So first what you wanna do is take a glass gem and trace it so that you know how big of a unicorn and a dragon to make. Then you'll take a ink pad in whichever color you want. We're gonna start with the dragon, so I'm gonna use green. And you are gonna use your thumb or finger. I'm gonna use my pinky finger because my thumb and fingers are just too big to fit in that circle. So you're gonna dip your finger into the ink. And you might have to dip it a few times until it's pretty coated. like that and then you're gonna make the body with a sideways fingerprint like just like that and then you're gonna make the head which is a much smaller fingerprint so instead of using your whole finger you're just gonna use the tip of your finger and sort of overlap the two circles, just like that. Now, if you want your head to be a little bit bigger, you can try again, just to make it bigger, or you can leave it the way it is. And if you don't like the way it looks, you can just start over and just trace a second one. Now, I'm going to go over my fingerprint with a pencil so that you can see the body more clearly. You don't have to do this, but I'm just gonna do it just so you can tell that it's a dragon. And you give it a second to dry, and wave your hand over it, wave the paper around a little bit, just so it dries out. And then you're gonna take your markers and you're gonna add the details. So I'm gonna start with red for the eyes, and I'm gonna use green for the accents, and orange and red for the fire. Okay, so you can you can also go over and draw the detail in pencil before you draw it in marker if you're worried that you might mess up. So I'm going to draw a couple things in pencil before I draw it in marker just so I know I don't make it too big. So I'm going to draw the horns and the wing. In pencil. I'm going to go over it with my marker. Okay. Can't forget the legs. Almost forgot his legs. I'm gonna put his eye on. And I'm gonna draw some fire coming out of his mouth. Okay, so just like that. Now once you're done with that, let the marker dry a little bit, wave it around. 
Then you're going to take your Mod Podge and your foam brush and the glass gem. Now this part you have to do very carefully because you don't want too much. So I'm just going to dip it in a tiny bit and then scrape off the edges so that I have just barely any glue on there. And then paint it on the back. And you might have to run your finger along the edge just to get the extra glue off. And then you are just going to set the gem down over your picture. Press it down for a second. Make sure that it sticks. Okay. And then you'll take your scissors and you'll cut out the gem and then just cut around to cut off the excess paper. And that's another good reason to, to trace it first so you can see the line of the circle. And then you take a magnet and a glue dot if you need one. And the best way to do it is to peel off one half of the glue dot paper, press the clear half down onto the magnet first. It's a little more stable than the glass, it doesn't move around as much. And you just peel that off, flip it over, stick it to the back, give it a hard push, and there you go, you have a little dragon. Next, we're going to do the unicorn. So I'm going to use purple for that. And you're just going to do the same thing as we did with the dragon. Trace your gem. And then get your finger nice and inked up. Now this one's a little different. So you're gonna do a sideways, just like the dragon. And you probably wanna wipe your finger off afterwards just because you're gonna do a little bit of drawing now. So I'm gonna use pink, purple, and yellow for my unicorn. So since the body is purple, I'm gonna use purple for the neck. And the neck is just two tiny little lines. Just like that. Then you're going to take your ink and you're going to make the head at a little bit of an angle a little different from the dragon instead of being straight on and then you can add the neck colors back I got a little overshadowed and then you add your details so I'm gonna draw the horn pencil first. And the horn is just a little triangle. It sticks out of your unicorn's head. Just like that. And then I'm going to add the detail. So the horn is going to be yellow. ears are going to be purple and those are just little little triangles as well and the legs forgot the legs again okay and then the mane and the tail so I'm going to draw my mane give my unicorn some little bangs and then hair that goes down its back and then a little curved fluffy tail. 
And then I'm just going to use my marker. Draw its face, and I'm also going to add a little bit of detail here so you can tell. Where is there? I'm just actually going to add a little bit of ink. There we go. So there's the unicorn, and we do the same thing as we did with the dragon. We'll take our glass gem, our paintbrush, and our Mod Podge, and just very, very tiny amount. You don't need much. We just paint the back, make it as smooth as possible, give the edges a little bit of a once over just to make sure they're not too full glue and you put it on top of your unicorn and push it down give that a second to dry and then cut it out Then for the square, if you have a, a square rectangle magnet, this is actually easier to do if you put it on the uh, glass gem first, just because the magnet's just a little thin. So just push it on the back, make sure you're holding your, mag your, uh, your gem still, and then very carefully Peel the paper off. You might have to hold the glue dot down just so it doesn't pull the paper. And then you just stick your magnet on. And there you go. So there you have it. You now have a matching set of dragon and unicorn magnets. I hope you guys had fun today. I know I had fun. I'll see you next time. Bye.